Hey everybody, McKnight here, and this is the next part of the series of looking at the bases in Mars Horizon, and today we're looking at NASA. Let's have a look. Just before we jump into the video, please like the video, it helps uh, the YouTube algorithm, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more, and down below in the description there'll be a link to my Twitch if you want to see me play it live. So, let's get into the video. NASA has a, a really good layout, I really like this NASA base, it's... Um, it's got such a big area down here for all the engineering products. But anyway, let's spin around here. So we've gone with the same build as uh, we did for Soviet Union slash Russia. So we looked at speed over everything else. So again, here we go. We got the build time connected with these buildings. And then this building in particular, the contractor's office. And the launch, the launch pads, medium and large with the hangar the um, spacecraft assembly building as well linked with uh, these buildings which is all good for more time reduction but we also managed this time to get uh, the small launch pad in as well for a tiny little bit extra so that's pretty good um, it kind of was all right up here I kind of didn't get as much science out of it as I wanted to but um, we've got like a few percentages of each mission um, and then we had um, this little research expansion here which actually we got two in this time where we could only get one um, research expansion and one mission control expansion so we got the research lab expansion we got the second research lab expansion there and then unfortunately we got mission control there and where was the ex and the expansions there but actually looking at that I could probably fit it in there, which, now thinking about it, that will probably be better science-wise and, like, money-wise if we could have another mission. So, hang on a second, we're just going to rebuild that there. There we go. We've got another mission control slot, which actually goes well with the PR, so we can get, uh, the PR office, so we can get 2% rewards, which can squeak us a little bit extra um, for the end-of-year review. And that also does PR office in the, the shuttle um, runway is also pretty good. So, our main focus was down in this area. We tried to get as much um, payload build cost reductions as possible. So, we've got the mobile launch platform with the vehicle assembly building, which is quite a lot of um, reduction there. Um, there was a bonus here as well, which is build cost reduction. So, also done a little bit cheaper as well which is another bonus and there was a little little slot here for the neutral buoyancy lab i was going to put it here with the astronaut straining facility but then i thought we get more bonuses because if we move this over here there's just a one bonus for three percent science and i was like well we can get payload reliability and launch reliability and then the three percent on top of that so i thought that was a no-brainer to get the extra um reliability because last time we mentioned it's possibly better to get um launch reliability so we don't have to hope too much to rng us um in terms of launching center of fugal training was a nice little slot in there that i wasn't sure where it was going i thought it might go up here but then the rewards weren't as good as as down there so i just thought right we'll just pop it in there be a bit a little, little bit cheeky um so moving back down to here, vehicle build time again plenty of cost reductions from that one build time i tried to get as many build time reductions as possible which you're probably thinking well what does that actually total to well if we look here <laughs> i don't know why it's i don't know why that's called cumbersome <laughs> um we've got a 36 percent reduction which might have been the same as um ros cosmos i can't remember off the top of my head but um, so yeah that was pretty good thought that was pretty decent I've dropped science now because that was 220 but we can get that extra mission slot so we've got three mission slots available which is probably if we launch into certainly the outer planets Jupiter, Saturn, we're going to get much more science from that than the, the monthly anyway so if we can keep a constant stream of missions going we'll, we'll um, easily get back up with that that's how I would lay it out if you want um, the speed reductions. What I'll do now is I'll just go through the buildings so you know 
what is where. So we've got a large launch pad, small launch pad, vehicle hangar, medium launch pad, sound suppression for the launch reliability, getting, getting rid of that RNG factor, um, contractor's office, vehicle assembly building, mobile launch platform, aeronautics research center, space plate runway, uh, neutral buoyancy lab, robotics research lab, rocket test pad, spacecraft assembly building, I think we just got on that one, but eh. Um, docking training facility, centrifugal training, backup power generator, the HQ, astronaut training facility, and then going up towards this corner, we've got the Hall of Fame, space science library, conference center, then just the other side of this little pond. These little ponds weren't as annoying as um, the the canyons in, in uh, the Baikonur Cosmodrome. That was that was a little bit more frustrating than these. We've got the research lab. Then next to that, we've got mission control, mission control expansion, research lab expansion, deep space network, mission control expansion, and then the PR office. Hopefully, this layout, if you choose to use it, um, hopefully that will get you to Mars or the other milestones faster than everybody else, specifically China. There we go. Hope that was of some help. Um, feel free to drop a comment on tell me how you've built your base. Um, be interesting to see how people um, prioritize the different um, bonuses that they can get from the adjacent buildings and such. Um, but yeah, if you did like the video, don't forget to like it. Helps the channel massively. Subscribe if you want to see more. Um, there'll be a link below to my Twitch if you want to see me play live. And thank you for watching and have a good rest of your day. Cheerio.